Hello viewers, welcome back to Hellenic TV and uh, Table for Two. Uh, I believe this is season two now, Alex. Season two, yeah. Been recommissioned, um, episode two of season two. So fantastic to share our Sierra Leone yeah. and community news. Definitely. Um, we've had very good responses uh, from the community and we're going to continue. So, Alex, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very good, well, thank you. I think our agenda today is... Sierra Leone, latest activities, latest yep. fun giving. And then there's been lots of community news, so we'll, we'll cover yep. that today. So where, where would you like to start? We'll start with uh, with, with our sponsor for today. There's a, a nursery, Canopy Nursery in Potter's Bar. Um, they've also got nurseries in Wembley Park, Shrewsbury, St Albans. But the Potter's Bar one has donated a lot of stuff for Sierra Leone. I mentioned it last show. This Everything's, is a children's nursery, not, yeah, not, a, not, a, not, a, not a plant not a plant nursery. Yeah, not a plant nursery. Canopy children's nursery. Yeah. Go. So they've they've the stuff they've they've donated has finally arrived at the nursery in um, in Sierra Leone. Mm. There's um, uh, there's a giant plastic caterpillar tube for the children to to crawl through. There's nice. a slide. I've seen a slide. I've seen a climbing frame. Also, children's kitchen for indoors as well. And I've already seen videos of the kids playing with all this equipment, which is which is great to see. There's also toys, games, building blocks. Now, in Sierra Leone, building blocks aren't just used for building. What the teacher Alexandro did, mm -hmm. he laid them out as an obstacle course for the kids as well, jumping over because they're wow. quite big. Yep. So he thinks outside the box. So the kids are using them in, in, in many ways, nice. which is typical of, of Sierra Leone. They just don't just use it for... Use their resources yeah, of for course. whatever they can. Yep. Um, now, they've also donated lots of Wellington boots. Now, the Wellington boots are vital for the children, especially during the rainy season. Um, the, the other option, they'll be wearing flip-flops or sandals. Now, if you're walking through mud or water or a puddle, you don't know if there's a rusty piece of metal there that cuts you, then there's the, there's the danger of, of, of sepsis and, and, and all sorts. Also, there's diseases you can catch. The fact they have the Wellington boots will, will, will keep them safe when they're, when they're walking to school and to home and, and to the shops. Very good. Um, also, there's a storage box if they sent. Um, it was a, it was a literally a lorry load of of stuff which I didn't know about until it all arrived. Tricycles. Now the tricycles, um, we've donated to some of the zinc house kids because they were never in their life own a tricycle. Something so simple that this this nursery was going to discard if they couldn't find sure. someone to take them. Um, also coffee cups, mugs as well for for the for the yep. teachers to use, and school uniforms. <laughs> so all these things came from. The one from Canopy Children's Nursery, the Potter's Bar um, branch. Uh, branch, and it all because of our friend Wendy from Woodhouse College. Wow, she worked Thank with Angie Wendy. there. Brilliant. So she worked with Angie. <laughs> Angie messaged her, "Do you know anyone who wants this equipment?" The first person she thought of was me. Mm. Messaged me, and that was it. Then the got the ball rolling, and now everything's arrived in Sierra Leone. And everyone is just, just so, so happy. Do you always send this uh, equipment on the same container shipments, or does everyone send it themselves? Do you? No, we, there's the, there's a company called Leon Freight. Um, they'll collect everything from my house, then they take it to their their warehouse. But this equipment didn't come to your house, did it? No, no. This no. this went direct because direct, yeah. was, there was so much. Well, usually, I just collect things from from people, but this went directly to the Good. shipping company. Yeah. Um, it saves a lot of hassle Absolutely. as well. So yeah, that, that, that's how that was done. And Leon Freight, I mean, they, they work wonders. They, the ships are often delayed now for some reason, but Leon Freight are always calling them and making sure everything yep. does arrive safely. Good, okay, amazing. Now, amazing. Now more than news, and as well as that arrival, there's, um, we've had a lot of medical equipment arrive, um, boxes of medicine, um, medical bags as well for the, for, for the, the clinic there. Yep. There's also exercise books. Um, I won't mention the name of the nursery, but a nursery was going to throw away over a thousand brand new exercise books, books because they were changing the color, the color scheme. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the business manager of this of the nursery or primary school actually messaged me, "Would you like them?" I said yes. So now we've got all these exercise books. Um, in fact, they've arrived this week to at Sierra Leone, um, and the kids there have to pay for everything they need. At, if you go to school, they don't give them exercise books; they have to pay them for right. them. So at least now they'll have a whole a whole stack of, of books of their own to Good. to use, um, and also some primary school chairs. These these mini chairs, Small. seven chairs, they're going to the actual zinc house kids rather than the actual than the nursery, because the zinc house kids when they're outside 
where the houses are, there's nowhere to sit. Literally, they'll sit on rocks. They'll sit on a tin can. They'll sit on a piece, on a, on a, on a piece of plastic. Yeah. Now we have at least seven chairs. So they'll have, they'll have the, 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 the children have, have a chair. And when I arrive there next year, we're going to do musical chairs. Right, okay. It would be funny. It would be funny in Sierra Leone. So, yeah. So we've got all that stuff arriving now. Um, our biggest um, barrier is, is, is the funding, is the finance, because all this, all this costs money. Um, so once the charity is set up, we're still waiting for it to be registered. Then we can get some colleges on board that want to help. And then it'll, it'll help us and ease the the strain on, on, on the rest of us as well. Yep. Um, so that's the Sierra Leone news. And then we've got a whole bunch of, of community news, okay. um, which we were involved with, with <laughs> one of the things as well, which we'll mention. Sure. Now, the first thing was a Vlach christening right. in, in Bucharest. Right. So I went to Bucharest with Alexandra. Um, it was a, a couple there, Romanian Vlachs. Explain Vlach. Vlach is, um, they're, a, they're a group of people who originated in northern Greece. Mm -hmm. um, they, the, the language is a mixture of, 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 lat, of, um, of Latin and Greek. Greek, yep. But the language is, wherever they've moved to, the language has followed them. Yep. It hasn't changed. Right. So you get Vlachs in Greece, you get Vlachs in Romania, you get them in uh, former, former Yugoslavia, you get them mm -hmm. all over the Balkans. So there are a group of people who have stay together ethnically they were Greek originally mm. um, and still are the ones living in Greece mm. the ones in, in Romania are ethnically Romanian mm. possibly, but mm. they are they are black and you can't tell them otherwise mm -hmm. um, so yeah very so very proud speak, people do you understand what they say no how much of it is Greek recognizable Greek it's very hard the, 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 the I think you know what that reminds me of there are many communities around mm. the Mediterranean and Asia Minor mm -hmm. that speak a version of Greek that's very close to Homer and Achilles mm -hmm. and ancient Greek, yeah. right? And there's a lot of studies done that certain pockets, especially um, Pontic areas, mm -hmm. where the Greek is actually closer to ancient Homeric Greek. Probably. So I bet if someone were to study yeah. Vlach, they would find more connections to ancient yeah. Greek than modern yeah. Greek, which is why we couldn't understand the, the Greek. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. There you go. I mean, even I mean, they say in the I mean, the Cypriot, the Cypriot, yeah. is very close to to ancient Greek. So is in southern Italy. There's a there's an yes. Greco Italian yes. based language. My parents have been there. I think Twelve Apostles Church mm. organised a okay. a trip there, yeah. and my parents went there. Mm. And there's a community that. Just about they could understand yeah. the Greek. That I can understand their Greek Close. more than the actual, than the Vlach Greek yeah. as well. I think we need to do an episode on the Greek language. Oh, yeah, that, that's definitely coming. <laughs> right, definitely, carry on. Definitely coming. Okay, right, so, Vlach, so we had the christening in, 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 in Bucharest. There was, there was food, there was music, they had traditional Vlach dancing and mm. dances. Mm. There was a dance group there as well. Um, absolutely amazing. I mean, the young people are so proud. They're proud of their of their heritage, which I'm sure is missing in other in other societies and groups. Um, we also there was a restaurant called Yuka. Went to a restaurant called Yuka Y U W K A. Mm -hmm. um, they had quite a varied menu. The chef actually um, worked on one of the Greek islands, right. so it was a like a tapas style menu. Yep. But you had something Japanese, something Greek, something wow. something Romanian. So quite a variety, but but top quality food. And I was checking their website or their Facebook page. They do music nights and they do comedy nights. Okay. I don't know what Romanian comedy is like, like, but we we'll might experience okay. it one day. Good. But you've got a link. You've got a. You wrote about something in Romania, the the cemetery. The cemetery. There's something called the Happy Cemetery okay. in Romania. It was Alexandra's tip, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, the cemetery, there's a, a guy that prepares tombstones for people who've passed away. He carves them, mm -hmm. he paints them, and he basically tells the story of someone's life on the tombstone. Mm. So you go to this cemetery called the Happy Cemetery, and it looks so colourful, and it's a celebration of life. Mm. So you walk around, you can see someone's life you know, encapsulated in a, in a tombstone. This is mm. George... He spent his life in the taverna drinking whatever, uh -huh. and he was very friendly with other, other men's okay. wives, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Or this is, the, this is how this person died. Yeah. So it's, it's almost like accepting death as being part of life yeah. and happily, colourfully 
celebrating it. Okay, that's a trip so to the, plans as well, that's, I think. That's definitely the Merry Cemetery. It's one of, it's on my list of places to go. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll be there with you for that uh, one, we James. We do a, a, a table for two on location. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we keep planning those. <laughs> they haven't happened yet, but... We'll see if Hellenic they, they, they the will budget, do one the day, budget yeah. for that. Yeah. Now, after the after the, the christening day after, um, we went up to the mountains. Right. Went to Brashov, and there's a, a small village called Shernau. Okay. Um, and it's fact, it was... I read this, it was the first tourism village in Romania. Okay. Um, it's either side of mountains, you have the valleys, you have the streams, the, the most beautiful wow. and quiet place you can, you can go to. You can walk for, for miles without seeing anyone when, you, when you're trekking through, through the mountains. Now, we, we went for a trek through um, some of the land owned by Alexandra's father, down into the valley. There was two horses, there was all this, and walking through the woods. Yeah. And then he pointed out there was um, some excrement, some, some um, bear poo, oh, basically. Oh, yes. And it was fresh. <coughs> now, I'd have thought, if you see fresh bear poo, oh. You you go Avoid it. you start you start walking very fast, but everyone just calmly walked past and went along. We didn't see any bears. Um, maybe for the for well, the if next the bears trip. have just done the business, then they'll be rested and relaxed. Mm. Not and the old anxious. and the old saying about the airs, the bears blah 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 in the woods. In yes, the, they they do they they the do. Woods. It's been proved. I didn't take a photo. Though. Thank you. <laughs> Alex, really likes for that. Yeah. So and also it's the um, it's the home of Dracula's castle as mm -hmm. well. Um, so this is Transylvania, is it? Isn't it Transylvania? It's, um, we'll have to ask Alexander yes. that. Okay. That's for another show. But okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. So then back to the UK. So we we had our trip to to Romania, um, and may, it is an amazing. It was my first time there as well. Um, I preferred brush off to to Bucharest. Okay. Um, but in Bucharest there was a shop. A high street shop that sold coffins. So okay. you go and you buy a coffin from a shop as opposed to the way we do it through through an undertaker. Right. So that was a quite an interesting concept. Okay. Yeah, it's not one I don't think anyone would do in, in the UK. Do you mean sizes, yeah? Small, medium, well, size, extra size, large. Size, size. XL, XXL. Yeah, yeah. That's, <coughs> Three XL. We've got our size as okay. well, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and then back home. So we had now um, the Theodira um, headquarters, they had their new their chapel repaint or redone okay it was renovated okay. it was it was um had a lot of repair need for it a lot of cracks um and they've changed the the design slightly as well mm -hmm. so we went for the blessing his eminence was there and it's the chapel of the transfiguration of christ the savior right um so archbishop was there um we had father obviously father nephon father nephon was instrumental i think in the design um, of the of the new chapel mm -hmm. and the color scheme and what have you. Now, when we went there, all the walls and the scenes were white, pure white, because they're going to start painting. Yes, um, gradually. Mm -hmm. um, but for a photographer, having white walls, white ceiling was beautiful because mm -hmm. I got some very very clear the photos. Yeah. yeah. Now the Cotty Choir was there. Have you heard of the Cotty no. Choir? Okay, it's the Christian Orthodox Tiadira Youth. Um, uh, youth, yeah, youth. It's the it's the original charity. Okay. Started off in Birmingham. They have their own choir. They they chant in Greek and and English. Right. Um, and some some amazing voices. You okay. you really have to have to hear them. In fact, I'll send you. I've got a video of it from. Let's connect them with Father. I'm sure Father Joseph. I thought he, yeah, he knows about them because it's, 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 it's all linked. Joint concerts. That, well, they were they did the they were there for one of the Christmas concerts last year. Five. Good. Um, okay. Yeah, so if you, if you get to, to, to sing with them or chant with them, that would be good. You'll be, be amazed by them. Mm. Um, so that was, that was the, 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 the blessing. And then obviously there'll be f probably a, another big service once they have all the, all the icons painted as right. well. Good. And they have regular um, Sunday services there. Um, so there's, there's a lot okay. going on at that, the actual chapel. Okay. Um, now, Byzantine Choir, yes. I heard, have got something coming up 17th of November this yeah, is your so, department yes, yes. so I'm part of that choir um, so on the 17th of November mm -hmm. there's a concert coming up at the Penridge Suite okay. in yeah, New Southgate Arnold's Grove, Arnold's Arnold's Grove yeah. New Southgate 7 o'clock on the Saturday £10 we'll put the um, poster up mm -hmm. for people to see um, and that will be the first kind of in the new season of concerts okay. the choir is going into rehearsals now imminently so beginning of november end of october um rehearsals that will be the first concert and then there will be um christmas okay. carol type yeah. concerts like we do every year yeah dates to be determined watch this space mm. um but the penridge 17th of november will be the first one of okay a few yeah we've had the summer off 
Okay, We've rested yeah. our voices, so now we're back for a new series of concerts. Ready, ready, ready for action. So the one at the Penridge, how, how's that going to be done? Is it just, will it be? Will there be a meal with it? Will there be... Um, I don't know. Okay, you don't know yet. <laughs> it's £10. I, I oh, imagine well, there'll be I drinks and snacks. Yeah. I don't think it's a formal meal. Yeah. Um, I think it's just a concert. Um, everyone knows the Penridge. It's yeah. easy to get to. Yeah. Um, they've tried to keep the price low, £10. Mm -hmm. So it will be a concert mixture of Byzantine and... Uh, folk music, etc. Okay. Like we usually do. Yeah. Okay. Since we're on the subject of, of, of music, yes. we had Amalgama as well. Yes. So the band Amalgama are making quite a name for themselves. Mm. They played the Clissold Arms on the, on the 12th of on the 12th of October. So, yeah. Then they came to our church, which was St. Mandalaymon, on the 19th. Yeah. Very successful evening. Um, it was organised by a new youth group in St. Bandalemon. Mm -hmm. uh, currently they're calling themselves the Young Professionals, okay. but they want to change that name. Yeah. It doesn't matter what the name is. The idea is to bring young people mm. to the church. We've talked about this yeah. before in this yeah. program. Um, how do we attract Neolea? Mm. Um, so one of the key members of our community, Maria Brogobio, who we've mentioned before, yeah. has pulled together a few young people. Um, and we use the term young very loosely. Um, but at least it gives a new flavor, a new uh, atmosphere yeah. in the community. Um, the event was very successful. About 110 people came. Mm. Um, we collected money, obviously, from the entrance fee. But also we saved money, because the money was going to the church and, and causes, by making our own food. Mm -hmm. So rather than get caterers in yeah. like we normally do, um, everyone contributed a dish. My mum prepared some magaroño de funno. Yeah, very nice too. <laughs> um, Etc. And yeah. many others did as well. So mm. basically everyone mucked in, yeah. which is how it which should is be. The, the old way, yeah. The old way, the good way. And hopefully it'll be one of many. Mm. Um, but I think everyone was very enthused. The music, obviously, with Amalgama was fantastic. Yeah, um, yeah and it's a, it's a nice addition to the um, community events. Yeah, I'll, I'll People quite, like yeah. leaving their home mm. on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday yeah. to, to see to see people and listen yeah. to some music. So yeah. it's a good excuse. Well, yeah. I, I was going to say I was quite surprised how popular it was, but St. Bandalone would have a group of, of people who would always support yeah. these events. No matter what the event is, they'll be there putting their hands in their pocket and, and just give, give, you know, giving money and, and helping a, worth, a worthy cause. I think, yeah, and again, I think most of the communities and committees and women's groups mm. um, they like to help the community it's yeah. part of the part of being part mm. of the reason yeah. why we're Greek Orthodox but once that generation goes what happens then well James? that's the thing this is why this group is trying to set something up so that the next generation is taking roles mm. I mean uh, Archbishop His Eminence Nikitas tried to introduce professional people into committees younger mm. people into committees yeah. um, women into committees mm. And some of the most progressive committees now are, have got you know three or four women on the yeah. committee, lawyers, solicitors, accountants, mm, yeah. you know, taking on the role of treasurer, secretary. Mm. You don't have to expect people that are retired to do this. Yeah. Obviously, they have ex more time, but if we start doing these kind of roles, then you know there's some succession. Mm, definitely, succession is the theme. Definitely. I guess. If you go out of London, though, it's mm. it's so different. The church in Chester, I think, has three trustees, all, all women. All women. Um, I, went, I was at St. Luke's the day after... Um, Birmingham. After, yeah, in Birmingham. Holy Trinity and St. Luke's for their yurtia. Uh There were 21 altar boys. What? 21, from ages about four all the way up to 18. It's amazing. 21 of them. The, I couldn't get a, a photo of all of them when they were all lined up. There were just so, so many of them, and they're there regular. This this is regular. It's That's not just amazing. for the Urti. That's amazing. Their church was packed, but their church is packed generally all the time. Yeah. Um, and it's a very young crowd as well. I've noticed they've they've got um, chanters, young female chanters, as part of the the, the actual choir. So it's uh, I mean it's a very very well established community. It's been there for a long time, um, but the. They've got such a young crowd. That's mm. a beautiful. I mean, Father Christo, probably half of them are his, are his grandchildren. Right, right, right. He has, he has, he has a, he has a large family. It all helps. But they all love and respect him so much that they're there at the church with him and, and, and taking part. 
Um, I'd say they're well blessed with young people. Definitely. I mean, there's some churches we've been to, communities where um, you might have the mother-in-law of the priest chanting. We, where was that? We, we did, we did oh, that, that was in one the of the South, 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 South End. End. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Family, uh, the priest's kids were in the mm. Iero. Yeah. The priest's mother-in-law was chanting. Yeah, yeah. His wife was also chanting, I think. Was yeah. it his wife? His, his, wife is, well, his wife had the, 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 the small ones <laughs> hey, to look after, but his, his son was an auto server, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that's so there's well-blessed communities. I think we want to get there. There's also other communities where you, you see somebody at the, at the I'm sorry, Bangari, mm -hmm. then they're going up to chant, and then they're holding the Xaptaria as well. Yeah. So there's communities that, yeah. you know, muck in. Mm, so. Definitely, it's, it's needed. It's all good. Yeah, and I bumped into our old friends, the Greek Outdoors, the caterers. So oh, the catering, lovely. as with St. Andrew's in Birmingham, in Birmingham right. the Greek Outdoors was there again. The weather was very un-Greek Outdoors. It was pouring with rain, Right. Um, but you still had queues of people outside waiting to get their, 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 their food. Um, and they're very, 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 very popular, popular company, actually, Greek Outdoors. Mm -hmm. um, We've so that mentioned was, them before, but they're worth... Worth mentioning. Definitely, Good. yeah. <laughs> okay, now, on to the biggie. The, the Cypriot, biggie. Cypriot Wine Festival. Cypriot Wine and Festival. Business yes. Expo, okay. Um, it was held at the Decorium, brand new venue. Um, it's something they haven't tried before because they've always had these massive arenas for, for, the, for the wine festival where everything's contained in that same room. But this was a banqueting hall. Right. So they had to rethink. There was a ready-made stage as well. Right. So they had to also extend the stage forward um, for the dancers and, 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 and so on and so forth. Yep. Um, so it was, a, it, was a, it, was a, it was a new thing. Um, they trialed it. I think it was, a, it was mostly a success. Right. Um, a few things they might need to iron out for next time, right. but at least now they know what's needed. Uh, the stalls were in the main bank, banqueting hall, but yep. they had a, um, a room on the side where they had the children's things. Okay. They had Eleni from Asteragia there. Very good. Um, entertaining the kids. They had the, the sweet shop. They had the local Greek schools and also St. Andrew's Secondary School. Yes. Uh, they had a stand there. So their business manager, Daniel, he came down. Very good. So, and also they're, they, they're building a new, well, a new school at where they are now, but slightly further forward okay. in, in New Southgate. So it must be a, a thriving school and a successful school for them to invest Bro. all that all that all that money. Mm. Um, so it was it was good to see, especially the the, the Greek schools being there. Um, but the you now the entertainment there was the headlining was it, there was there was a well, Eleftheria Eleftherio. Yes, she was supporting Banos Galidis. Okay. Now, usually when you get someone supporting the main singer, they're not as good. We'll say. She was she was brilliant. She okay. was, she's a she's a fellow Cypriot as right, well. Um, she kept the the the, um, the audience entertained. Mm -hmm. She k walked amongst them singing what? Cypriot songs as well as as well as nice. Greek songs. Uh, Banos did the same. He joined the audience. They came off the stage um, and walked amongst the audience, which the they they, they do love that, especially when people are trying to take selfies and then he's course. jumping in and what yeah. have you. So they were. They were both very, very good entertainers, um, and they, they, they did a really good job, really good job. Now, we had some of our homegrown talents there. Okay. There was Elizabeth, Elizabeth Chapman and Kat. Both have shows on LGR as well. Okay. Um, they sing in English. They sing in Greek. Wow. Kat, actually, she's a songwriter as well. Mm -hmm. um, they've both done stage. They've both done musicals. So they're very versatile, versatile singers. Very good. Um, and it was good to see them both there together. Um, you don't usually catch them at the same time, but luckily they were they were both three at the same time. The fact they they both also represented LGR meant they were at the at the festival at the stall for LGR, so right. people got to speak to them as well, Very good. which was a really really nice touch. Now there was a relatively new singer, Eric Eric Kleos. I say he's a new singer. He's new to the wine festival. He's quite a long established singer. Mm -hmm. um, he's just trying to get that break where where people will, will start buying his records. Yeah. Very, very talented man. He showcased his talent really well. Um, so he was there for the first time at the, at the Wife Festival. Um, and then there was Eleni from Mastaraga, who I mentioned before. She was on the stage at some point mm. entertaining the children. But she can just do an entire show by herself. Right. She's she's that talented. Um, she's she's one of our, our national treasures. <laughs> you know, she's, she's really, she really is good. Excellent. Now, a lot of youngsters, there was a... Junior, Junior Andre. 
Okay. Do you know who he's, who he's the uh, son of? Uh, yeah, I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> Peter Andre, yes. obviously, obviously. We'll say that yeah. for those who don't, who don't know. Peter Andre. Mm. So, so he was there um, singing all English songs. Um, he could smell the food outside, so he kept mentioning the food outside. Okay. And then the person who runs the store came and gave him some some sort of lag okay. and what have you so they kind nice. of they kind of got yeah got him involved with the the Marketing. festival as well as yeah yep. so that worked really well now there was a, a young guy theo lucas he's a cypriot um he sang english songs modern songs but he also sang one particular cypriot song mm -hmm. halalindo okay yeah okay yeah okay. so he sang that so I was I enjoyed that because he added that Cypriotness to the Cypriot wine festival, Got it. Got it. which very few people people did and says did. So he was very brave to do this young guy singing this old this old song, mm. but he did he did really well. So I, I really enjoyed that. Good. Um, then there were some dancers live for dancing. Now they're a dance group doing ballroom and Latin American. Okay, um, and Maria. Kiriaku runs the school, it's, a, it's, a, it's a part of a school. Mm -hmm. Now someone said to, said to me before, they go, what's ballroom dancing got to do with Cyprus? Right. Now, if they'd met my, my late father, my late uncle, Nisiforos, my auntie, my daughter, they'd have known that my father used to do ballroom dancing in Cyprus right. yeah. in, in his younger days. Yeah. My uncle, Nisiforos, when we had weddings, he'd be doing a tango with his wife, yes. Margarita. Yes. Um, or Marquita, she's the yeah. Swedish, but they were doing a proper tango. So we're not all that's right. Zembekigo and no, Sisto and Susta. There's, there's also the, the, the ballroom. I'm sure your, your dad Some, can do well, it. Sometimes, maybe not my dad, <laughs> but sometimes you do see a couple yeah. at weddings that do like and proper And it's, it's good to dancing. see. It's beautiful, beautiful to see. <laughs> Absolutely. The movement is yeah. amazing. I mean, my sister Christina did ballroom dancing as a, yeah. as, as a child. Yep. Yeah. It's good. It's all good for movement, posture, breathing. Oh, definitely, definitely. Excellent. So that was that was live for live for, live for dancing. Mm. Um, now the the highlight of the evening for me was Harry Yoriu. Okay. He's an eleven year old boy, young man. Yep. He, um, I saw him the week before at a christening. Um, so we finished the food. I went to take a few photos in the foyer, and then I heard what I thought was a CD from a from a, a musical. Right. So I went to the main area and saw this young boy. With a microphone, I thought he's miming. He can't really be singing. And then I looked closer. He was singing, belting out this tune, okay. live. Uh, live. And even the waitresses and the waiters came out thinking it was a CD. He was okay. actually amazing. Okay. So I, I went to the parents after and I said, "Look, would you mind if I can get him to the onto the wine festival? Can you please bring him in?" So I spoke to Andri Yuriil, who's um, who's part of the entertainment committee. Mm. They got him in for that Sunday, and he wowed. The, the, the entire or, the entire audience. So he's a name to look out for, Harry Yoriel. You okay. sound like you've discovered. You like you're his agent. Well, you've no. discovered Elvis his Presley. His agents. Oh, are, so what was Elvis Presley's he, manager? His agents are Colonel Platin, something. Platin, <laughs> platinum. Oh, he's already got he's, one. He's got, yeah, he's, he's already, already got, got an agent. agent. But, uh, too but late. you know, if, the thing is, we, we we all need to promote our young talent. That's 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 the thing. I as, agree. As separate, we need to say, look, this is you know, young kid. And he's and, he, and he's belting out a tune mm. just like just like anyone else, just Good. like an adult. So that he also sang "I Want You Back," um, Jackson Five song as well. So he, he wasn't just musicals; he showed his you know versatility. versatility yeah. So he was really good. Now, yep. the, the main stalls. Now, there was Taste of Cyprus. Yep. Uh, two Taste of Cypresses. Okay. There was one in Waltham, the, based in Waltham Cross, a restaurant and caterers. They did the Suvlagia, beautiful food. Mm. Then we had Taste of Cyprus in Palmer's Green, who does, is, 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 a, is a bakery. So two totally different right. companies next to each other. Taste of Cyprus, beautiful food from, from both of them. Very good. Um, there was a, there was a, a guy um, and his wife. He's, uh, so it was a Bayesian and Greek Cypriot mix. The couple, nice. they've got sweet and delish okay. based in, in East Barnet. They do crepes, um, they do rolled ice cream, which is amazing to see them, them yep. doing that, and waffles. But they've got the shop and they also do the, 
to do the events. Mm. Um, Archway Sheet Metal Works, obviously, was their, 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 their standard at the, at the festival. Yep. And they supported the Zeke House kids so much. Good. Um, and then, obviously, Hellenic TV was there. LGR was there. Um, but the Cypriot Community, Community Centre was there, based in Wood Green. Mm. Now, there's also Steyos Cafe okay. at, within the centre. Yeah. Now, um, they do far more. It's not just a community centre. They, they do far more. Do we have time for your quiz, James? Go on in, okay. quickly. Okay, now, James, did you know that at the Cypriot Community Centre, community center, they have conference rooms? Yep. They have a theatre? Yep. They, have, they do the catering and banqueting. They do drop-in lunch club. Mm -hmm. This is all from their website, by yeah, the way. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Meals on Wheels, yep. they, they range as well, an advice and advocacy service mm. and daycare. Mm -hmm. They have the cafe with Stelios as well. Mm. Now, Stelios, the cafe, he also does birthday parties, christenings, so it's not just a cafe. Okay. And they're open until the, until the evening. Mm. They do free workout classes, mm. Tai Chi. There's chair dance exercise. We haven't reached that stage yet, but there's chair dance exercise and then there's line dancing. Which I've, I've seen I, that before. I have yeah. you. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, really? Uh, not not at okay. the center, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, I'll be interested to see what music they play for okay. the line for the line dancing. They do Zumba. Mm -hmm. They do the Kumon maths and English classes, yes, yes, tutoring. which I'm sure every child is dreading if, if, mm. if I'm mentioning that. Jiu Jitsu. They have okay. Jiu Jitsu. I haven't seen it, but I'd love to go go along and see that. There's mothers and to toddlers. Cypriot dancing lessons. There's yoga. There's drama classes. And there's the whole list is, is actually massive. So it's not just the community centre. They do far more than than, than just all Amazing. that. Yeah. Great so, contributions. Yeah. They do Tavli as well. They, yeah, they, 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 actually, speaking of Tavli, when I was at in St. Luke's in Birmingham, um, after the service where the community met mm -hmm. after for their suvlaki and their and their, their food and their drink, there were men there playing the playing Tavli. It's a proper yeah. community centre feel in, 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 at St. Luke's. Anna, good. Yeah, no, it's great fun. Thank you, Alex. That was an amazing welcome, whirlwind tour. Yeah, there's a lot to Thank cover. Thank you, viewers. Um, we've taken in the community um, events, and we'll see you again next time on Table for Two. Bye bye. Definitely. bye, -bye. Thank you.